Are you tired of relying on medication to keep your blood pressure in check? It may be time to ditch the pills and opt for a more natural approach to maintaining your levels. One in every two adults in the USA is affected by high blood pressure or hypertension. Many factors can contribute to high blood pressure, including a poor diet and refined sugars, carbs, and low potassium, a lack of physical activity, high levels of stress, and nutritional deficiencies. High blood pressure can lead to serious health problems like heart attacks, strokes, kidney failure, and eye conditions if left unmanaged. This video will help share the top foods that can help lower and manage your blood pressure. From leafy greens to potassium-rich fruits, these superfoods will improve your overall health and keep your blood pressure levels in check. Are you ready to take control of your blood pressure and live a healthier life? Then keep watching. Let's start on a sweet, dark note. Did you pick up those hints? We're talking about dark chocolate. Indulging in a bit of chocolate can be good for your health. Dark chocolate is packed with flavonoids, which are mighty antioxidants that can help lower your blood pressure. Polyphenols are plant compounds found in various foods, including cocoa products. One subtype of flavanols, polyphenols, is in exceptionally high amounts in dark chocolate. Flavonoids increase the production of endothelial nitric oxide compounds in the body. Endothelial nitric oxide is a molecule that helps to relax and widen the blood vessels, a process known as vasodilation. This can lead to a decrease in blood pressure. Some studies have shown that consuming cocoa products or supplements containing flavonoids may help lower blood pressure in those with hypertension. But before you start stuffing your tummy with chocolate bars, know that only a little bit of dark chocolate with minimal sugar is part of a balanced diet. So allow yourself to savor a square or two of dark chocolate as a well-deserved treat. Beetroot contains dietary nitrates. These dietary nitrates are converted into nitric oxide, which helps your heart arteries to dilate, just like they do after consuming dark chocolate. A study found that those with high blood pressure who drank a cup of beet juice every day for four weeks had a significant drop in their blood pressure over 24 hours. If you want to add some natural blood pressure lowering power to your diet, consider adding some beets to your palate. You can drink beetroot juice, add beets to your salads or other dishes, or roast them as a tasty side dish. Just be sure to aim for about a cup of beets per day to get the full benefits of this vegetable. And don't forget to have fun with it. Beets are a versatile and delicious ingredient that can add some color and flavor to your meals. Moving along, let's explore the high blood pressure reducing properties of flax seeds. Flax seeds are tiny, nutty tasting seeds that are packed with nutrients and have a variety of health benefits. They contain fiber, protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and several vitamins and minerals. They're also rich in a fatty acid called alpha-lyolinic acid, or ALA. In a clinical trial, those with peripheral artery disease often associated with high blood pressure consumed flaxseed every day for six months. Those people significantly reduced their systolic and diastolic blood pressure compared to the control group. Flaxseeds affect certain chemicals in the body called oxylipins. These chemicals help regulate blood pressure by influencing the tone of the blood vessels. This study also found that those who ate flaxseed experienced changes in the levels of certain oxylipins in their blood. ALA, the fatty acid found in flaxseed, may also directly inhibit an enzyme called soluble epoxide hydrolase, which could help lower blood pressure. Try grinding your flax seeds to allow them to be adequately absorbed by the body. You can store ground flax seeds in the fridge or freezer to help them preserve their freshness. Add them to your oatmeal, yogurt, or baked goods like bread and muffins for a nutritional boost. Another option is to sprinkle them over salads or mix them into sauces and dressings for an extra crunch. Now, how often do you eat amaranth? Humankind has used this whole grain for a very long time. Specific proteins found in amaranth may have antihypertensive effects, which can help lower blood pressure. 
these proteins work by inhibiting enzymes that regulate blood pressure, such as an angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, and renin. ACE is an enzyme that converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, a potent vasoconstrictor or a substance that narrows the blood vessels. Angiotensin 2 increases blood pressure by constricting blood vessels, inhibiting ACE, and helping lower blood pressure. Renin is another enzyme that regulates blood pressure by activating the RAAS, or renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. Inhibiting renin can also help lower your blood pressure. Amaranth can combat cardiovascular diseases very effectively. You can use it in place of rice or other grains in dishes such as soups, stews, or casseroles, or grind it into flour for baking. You can even pop amaranth-like popcorn for a crunchy snack. It's widely available in natural food stores or online. Let's discover the cardiovascular benefits of spinach. Spinach is a leafy green veggie that's rich in nitrate. In recent study, researchers gave people either soup that was high in nitrate, made from spinach, or soup that was low in nitrate, made from asparagus, for a week. Those who ate spinach soup had lower blood pressure than those who ate the asparagus soup. This is because spinach soup helps blood vessels relax and become less stiff, lowering blood pressure. The nitrates from this green leafy veggie worked like beetroots and dark chocolate. So if you want to keep your blood pressure in check, add some spinach to your diet. Just make sure to wash it well first. Next up, berries can do a great deal for your heart. Blueberries, bilberries, cranberries, raspberries, strawberries, chokeberries, cherries, black currants, and acai berries are tasty and healthy additions to any diet. They may also help lower blood pressure. Anthocyanins, a type of pigment that gives berries their rich colors, have anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and lipid-lowering effects. Some studies have suggested that consuming berries or products made from berries, such as juices or powders, may help lower blood pressure. Anthocyanins, condensed tannins, and elagic acid are berry polyphenols that help improve blood vessels' function and reduce oxidative stress, lowering blood pressure. Some studies have suggested that consuming berries may help lower cholesterol levels and improve insulin sensitivity, risk factors for high blood pressure. Additionally, berries are a good source of dietary fiber, which may help lower blood pressure by reducing cholesterol absorption from the gut. Want a crunchy snack? How about pumpkin seeds? Pumpkin seeds are super nutritious and may help lower blood pressure in a few ways. Pumpkin seeds contain magnesium, an essential mineral involved in over 300 enzymatic reactions, including regulating blood pressure. Potassium is another nutrient contained in these seeds that helps regulate blood pressure. It counteracts the effects of sodium in the body, which is a major contributor to high blood pressure. Another nutrient called arginine is an amino acid in pumpkin seeds involved in producing nitric oxide, which helps relax and dilate blood vessels. You can also try pumpkin seed oil, which may lower blood pressure through similar means. But beware, store-bought pumpkin seeds often come with a side of salt. Avoid the added sodium and choose unsalted varieties or roast your own at home for a tasty and heart-healthy snack. So go ahead and gobble up these seeds without worrying about your blood pressure getting too high. Lastly, we have citrus fruits. Citrus fruits are known for their high vitamin C content and distinctive sour flavor. Examples of citrus fruits include oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruits, and tangerines. According to a study, an average of 500 milligrams of vitamin C daily, about five times the recommended daily requirement, reduces blood pressure by almost 4 millimeters of mercury in the short term. Vitamin C also flushes out excess sodium and water through your kidneys. This helps relax and widen your blood vessels, making it easier for blood to flow and reduce blood pressure. But remember, you should do this under medical supervision only. One healthy way to eat citrus fruits is as a snack or add them to your meals as a garnish or flavor enhancer. Try slicing up an orange and eating it as a snack. Squeeze some fresh lemon juice over your salad or fish, 
or add some diced grapefruit to your morning smoothie. Just be mindful that grapefruit and grapefruit juice can interact with certain medications, including blood pressure lowering medications such as calcium channel blockers and statins. This interaction causes an increase in the concentration of the drug in the blood, potentially leading to side effects or toxic reactions. So consult a healthcare provider before adding grapefruit or its juice to your diet if you take any medications. So now that you've got your nutrition game down pat, what about those sneaky beverages that can send your blood pressure through the roof? Don't worry, we've got your back. Whether you're a soda or juice lover, we'll help you make all the smart choices. Check out 13 beverages that'll reduce your blood pressure immediately, or 14 teas to lower cholesterol, high blood pressure, and clean clogged arteries. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, click both and learn how to keep your blood pressure in check. Which is your favorite blood pressure reducing food? Let us know in the comments below. 